What's up, you guys? Shirel Sony is back, you know, for another tutorial. And this time it's gonna be on the Fruity Scratcher. And there's a much overlooked plugin. Many people new to the FL game don't even know this exists, but it does. So I'm gonna give you the basic functions of it as well as my tips how to make a more realistic scratch. So, first of all, open the scratcher. You can't open it from the uh the pattern editor but you have to open it from the mixer it's right here so open it and if you guys open it you'll get this and you'll be like okay no sound where's the sound so what you have to do is most of the time scratches work best with vocal um samples so that's how the real producers do it so and, drop. and then you got this sample okay and then if you move right here and if you move right here you could start doing the scratch but it sounds pretty horrible right now so i'll start from the top okay this smooth function right here if you go to the manual it says something like um it changes the gradient of the of the scratch okay of this sound basically what i've figured out that it does is um at lower values is sort of big crushes the sound so if i turn all of this off yeah it gets that annoying sound which you guys probably never want to hear so I normally use it at the default settings for that. Okay, pan and volume, I don't even have to tell you guys. Hold is basically, um, you play it and then you press hold. Stop. You could, and then mute is, you know, it mutes it. Um, the special thing about this is, I don't remember it being like this in FO11, but if you press the B4, like on your keyboard or your MIDI keyboard, whatever, yeah, it gets the mute button on, which is re really special. So I use that a lot. Otherwise, you guys could link it to a controller and use it. Obviously, this is just to pause this to play it in reverse. This is to play it forward, okay? And then we have the speed, the acceleration, and the sensitivity. Speed is pretty much anywhere from 0x to 2x speed. Normally it's at 1x, so it's playing. If you guys put it down, yeah, it plays it slower and then plays it faster, obviously. And then you have the acceleration knob. Okay, this is how fast the uh, sample starts to play again after you've stopped it. So right now it's just playing back at 100% speed so that means it stops right away and starts right away this lower That's what you guys have to know. Sensitivity is like the same as mouse sensitivity. You know, at lower values, your mouse will move slower. At higher values, your mouse will move faster. So that's sensitivity. Okay. Um, normally, um, I find it very hard to use it anywhere in the highs because you re really need good control over your mouse. And then, yeah. And then otherwise, it just sounds like chipmunks, you know? It sounds annoying. So I put it somewhere below 20% for most of my okay. And then if you actually right click right here, it has a link to controller and then you could link it to a MIDI controller. 
And that's what it says on this manual as well. Look right here. How to link Fruity Scratcher to me. But in FL12, I tried that and it doesn't really link. I mean, it links, but it's like an on-off switch, you know? It doesn't really work. Um, yeah, so I find not using that. For most part, what I do is I just put up Edison and then I record into it and then take the samples I want and then use it like that. First of all, though, when you scratch, <laughs> see how there's all this low? <laughs> so that's sort of, you know, like making the sound worse. So what I like to do is get an EQ, you know, and then just high pass it and take care of all the sounds. Yeah. Yeah. And then that makes the sound sharper, I guess, without all that low end. Another thing I do is I use it with the mute button. So I told you guys if you press B4, it turns on. <laughs> So you could get it more rhythmical. And another thing you could do is I add some reverb on it, but not your normal reverb. What I do is I put the wet up, put the decay down, and the size down like this. It gives a warmer, smoother tone to the sound. <laughs> Yep, so you guys could use it like that, you know? If you guys don't know how to use Edison, then go here, and then if you press, click on input, and then record. <laughs> and then... Yeah, and you guys could pick the samples you like, and then put it together. All right, so that's pretty much it for the fruit scratcher. There's not much else to explain. I'll just sh show you guys a tune that I made using the fruity scratcher, a hip hop tune. Let's check it out. All right, so here, this part right here, these are all the scratches that I got from it, so. And don't say anything about my mixing because this isn't mastered, obviously. What can he do for you? And the maker will repair what he makes. You were made as well as we could make you, but not to last. A light that burns twice as bright burns half as long. And you have burned so very, very brightly, Roy. Was my tutorial about fruity scratcher hope you guys enjoyed um you know if you guys happen to make a song using fruity scratcher give me the link and i'll give you guys feedback on it and have a great day